happening, guys? You're half, you're being held up by an Evian bottle. That is so French. Good morning, it is, what day of the week is it? I don't even know. Wednesday? Thursday? Thursday, the 23rd. It is actually almost noon. Brittany and I, do we have a reservation for anywhere today? I don't think so. We were gonna do Kitsune. Yep. Thrift Shop Nuovo. Bye. Um, Sakura Basilica. Oh, Carboni was over there, but we didn't like okay. make a reservation. But that, I mean, we, that's just a thing. So yesterday, Brittany and I did the uh, Chateau of Versailles, and it was so incredible. I didn't really know what it was, and it was almost like I watched a movie, and now I want to know everything about it. Like, but it's Louis the Fourteenth, and he was married to Marie Antoinette. Louis the 16th was? Louis the 16th. Uh, it was like, you know, but his all of his fathers and fathers and fathers. They're all called Louis? Uh, yeah. So uncreative. So we got to go see the Chateau Versailles and then we um, <laughs> rented a golf cart and went down to the gardens and then the Grand Trianon and the Petit Trianon and the Hamburger Hamlet, no, the Queen's Hamlet. Yep. Um, and it was so much fun. Good morning. Versailles day, my face. I have no eye makeup on. My lips all come off, kind of. Guys, good morning. Brittany and I are at Versailles. We almost missed the train. That was so crazy. Like, like we needed an experience like that. It was like so movie-esque. We were like about to miss the train. We were like, where is platform four? Nine and three quarters. We have some time to kill, so let's go to the gate. Okay, we're gonna go to the gate. Off with her this head. Is, um, Brittany's quit telling y'all about Marie Antoinette. Beheadings. Outfit of the day. Dress free people. Dress reformation. So cute. Wait, hold mine like selfie, like towards me so I can show my whole dress. Like this. This is my love. Free people. She's a Reebok. I think I'm at the Taj Mahal. My name is Madeline Byrne and I'm with Untitled. <laughs> I'm 6'9 and I'm okay doing nude. Vibes. Off with my head. <laughs> Hi. Just renting a quick car to drive around Versailles. So since my family um, are French royals, yeah, we, I just get we a live golf here every time I'm here. It's so crazy to live in Versailles like we do. See, the French girls, they walk around like this. But the American girls, they walk around like this. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Oh my God. Brittany and I, I, I blame myself. We took like a totally wrong turn at one point on foot no. and we completely walked like an extra 3,000 steps. I like blame, I blame fucking, what's his name? That guy. Yeah. We were like looking for this, this. We both didn't even consider going in. This is probably like so not interesting to you guys, but. We literally were looking for this one like cottage and then we were told to go this other way and really all we had to do was just go right where we parked and then walk right through the petite train on and we walked all the way out of our way but whatever we got more steps in and anyway yesterday was so much fun we went to Ferdy for dinner which mm. was famous for burgers and mm -hmm. we got the burgers and it was just amazing and everyone so far has been speaking english like we britney has been speaking a lot more french like she's actually really good at like communicating with people in french like she had a full-on conversation with this old guy who didn't speak any english yesterday at the tree and on and yeah today is the 23rd the day before Brittany's birthday we're gonna go shopping slept in a little bit today because we did not get a lot of sleep yesterday we almost missed our train it was so wild so we're gonna go to this area that Brittany has told me about called the Sakor Basilica. Basilica and uh, gonna do some thrift shopping content is gonna be really fun I can't stop taking so many pictures because everything is so beautiful 
And so far, I like this hotel. So we can, we've been pretty much able to walk everywhere. Yeah, we, we, I was thinking about that today. We have, we haven't even taken an Uber yet. We haven't taken an Uber or once. Or a taxi. We, we haven't taken, only taken a train. Yeah, but that's because you have to take a train to Versailles. Yeah. We might Uber tomorrow night to, to that club. Mm -hmm. Brittany's getting us into a club. We're just gonna really have like a full on girls in Paris like week. Tomorrow's Brittany's birthday. She wants to get a gorgeous bag. And we were gonna do lunch at this place called Pink Mama. And then we were gonna go, we can kill time and do something maybe just fun for like a couple hours after that. And then we're gonna go see the Eiffel Tower. We haven't even been to the Eiffel Tower yet. Bonjour. New day, new outfit. Okay, Ray-Bans on top, button up pinstripe top is from Banana Republic. Shorts are from Aritzia. This little tank underneath is from Cotton On. The shoes are T-K-E-E-S via Revolve and De Cat Avec Mon Sac Blanc. Day four with my white bag. Amazon. <laughs> okay, so outfit of the day. This dress is from Rolla's. I got it from Infinity Creative. We love to see it. It's so cute. I love this for like a little day of shopping. Glasses are Ray-Ban. I've been having a lot of like sensitive eye issues with the sun, so we needed to go with something a little bit stronger. Bag is my thrifted Fendi. Shoes, Doc Martin. Water, Evian. Today we're gonna go shopping. Uh, I think we're gonna go just like bounce around and see what catches our eye. We're gonna go get coffee at Cafe Kitsune. It's a thrifting day. It's a thrifting day. We're gonna um, start near the gardens at Cafe, Cafe Kitsune. Kitsune. We're gonna go to the third arrondissement to do a little thrifting, maybe higher end thrifting. Then yeah. we're gonna end at Sac Cor Basilica for some views, content, and more thrifting. Huge shout out to Brittany who just like came prepared. like came with like plans and things and areas and it's like just really giving she's really coloring in the picture of paris you know what i mean like i feel like you actually helped remember when you did all the plans you were like we need an itinerary we did start to pencil in some plans because it felt like the days were just going to go by and we weren't going to get to do every single thing we wanted so yeah. i do think we make a good team but i say that because knowing full well we'd be doing nothing without you also again the view is just so fun from this hotel church right across the street is so beautiful good lighting I'm gonna leave my camera here and I will vlog on my phone see you guys soon It's like my hair is at that level of hair where it's starting to look like a mom. No offense to Did moms out there. Did you find us a dinner place yet or no? Me? Yeah. No, I will, I will. I had one job. Look, oh my God, Brittany though. Like look at the view with the balcony. Madeline's job, I gave her a task. <laughs> I said, okay, it's time. It's time for you to do tasks. It's Find time for a task. You no, want I want something. this task. I want this task. She wants something vert, which is green. Okay, can I can wow. I give you some names and you put them into your search? Oui, oui, okay, wake oui. up to that. Like today, we went to the Sacro Basilica. I'm saying it wrong, I know, no, but we that, did. That was, that was that was perfect. And we went to the so Mont impressed. Montmartre district. We did, tried to do some shopping. We couldn't find anything shopping no. that was like made sense. Um, the vintage stores, IMO. Listen, I'm not a vintager, <laughs> but I don't think that did they hit for you? Like, a vintager, this, no. Is this what you were? Is this? Is this it's Britney's birthday. It's midnight. Oh, Are you Jay Twat? <laughs> 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 Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the IKEA prison. Guys, we are gonna get ready and have a little sit down and a chat while we tell you what happened to us last night. London. So, oh, the cat. 
Our cat, our resident cat. We have a cat. So it's our first night in London last night. We went, came in from Paris on the Eurostar. First of all, we missed our train because we didn't realize Eurostar going from uh, Paris to London was kind of like taking a flight. It's you have to be there really early to check in. Post them. So we missed our train. They had to put us on the last train of the day. Ended up working out. We met some girls. It was like fun and whimsical, whatever. We're on the train, we get in, we get an Uber to our hotel, and we, we can't find it at first. We turn around, we find it. Guy tells us, hold on one second, there's an issue with our system, but like, I see you here, I just, we have an issue. So, guy manager comes down and she starts talking to us and says, uh, so all I can do is apologize, but basically we've overbooked this hotel and we luckily have a sister hotel right down the road and um and they already know and we they're gonna have a room for you and this is what it's called well i can literally just insert the name because this isn't going up till later originally booked at victory house hotel it's in london victory house hotel london uh, in piccadilly circus so then they tell us about this sister hotel called zedwell and it's like a wellness hotel. And when you first looked it up, it looked like really nice. Really, really nice. Like super like, nice. Okay, win, win, win. Yeah, we were like, oh great, like okay, cool. So we go in, the, the lobby is stunning. Like and I'm excited. I did look at the price of each and basically Victory House Hotel was like 750 pounds and this one was like 450. Yeah, and it was weird because the lobby at the original, the Victory House Hotel, was like a little box. And that was the hotel we booked. Uh -huh. So we're like, how weird. Like, why does this hotel have like the littlest box? And this Zedwell place that we're getting like bumped over to has like the most gorgeous lobby you've ever seen. Basically, these are like a specific kind of room where there's no windows, there's no TVs. They call the them cocoons. Cocoons. There's like no amenities. Like here's the tour. You get two towels. Bed. Well, I mean, it's giving vibes. Like don't it get is. us wrong. Like we know we sound like dicks head, dickheads, but you have to understand. There's the front door to leave. Um, and we keep laughing because it's potential that we actually got a better hotel because um, apparently that one is like above a nightclub. So we maybe wouldn't have been able to sleep. Whereas, <laughs> bless you. I'm not gonna lie. I did sleep great. It was like, it's like literally no light in here except for the light switch, obviously. So anyway, you guys, it has just been comical. We like didn't know what to do. The woman working here was like showing us different layouts of different rooms, seeing if there was something more to our liking, but every room was pretty much the same. Crazy right now, like to the point, it was like the Las Vegas strip when we got here. I think, yeah, well that might just be like the area that we're in. We're, yeah. we're in a little bit of like Hollywood. And it was a Saturday night and like the time, yeah. We're gonna get out and be like, oh my God, like we're just staying in a different part, but. Yeah, it was weird. We, we were like debating between Airbnbs and hotels, but this was like in our price range and we're only here for, for like last night we stayed and then we're here today. We're obviously like just getting ready. We're going to Paris tomorrow. Yeah, we're getting ready. We're going to go Sounds like amazing. sightsee <laughs> London and then we're going to stay here tonight and then we're literally leaving and then we're going back to Paris. This was always the plan, but we're just excited now that we like do have Paris to look forward to yeah, for one last, kind of two last nights. So anyway, that is our crazy London check-in story. It might not sound that crazy to you guys, but oh my God, we're dying. And uh, I'll include a lot of my stories from Instagram into this so you guys can see what we're dealing with. And we will see you guys in London.